various people have said that John Brennan, the head of the CIA, traveled possibly under another name to Kiev. And I just wanted to know, did he travel there? Does it have anything to do with this action? Just to No, it, ha it happened uh, only in, in the, uh, some co comments from Moscow. I don't know. So, Thank you. Were you in Kiev recently? I was in Kiev a couple of weeks ago, yes. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us uh, what your mission was? Uh, I was out there to uh, interact with uh, our Ukrainian partners and friends. Ukraine's acting president has announced the start of an anti-terrorist operation in the east of the country. Today was the day Kiev sent in troops to try to wrest back control of the east. I was with the people who were standing in the О чем люди говорят? Люди хотят два государственных языка. Люди хотят федерализации. Сегодня призывают отправить армию. Сегодня призывают зачистить эти территории. Сегодня называют своих граждан террористами. Для чего? Я действительно считаю, что у нас есть возможность сохранить страну. Но для этого нужно остановить эскалацию насилия, прекратить военные операции. Is there not a grass in the boots movement though? by Russian speakers in Eastern Ukraine who are not happy with the current situation. We do have differences in my country, that's true. Every country has differences. But we are ready to bridge all these differences. Easter Sunday was anything but peaceful in this corner of Eastern Ukraine. At least two people were killed in a gunfight near Slavians at this makeshift checkpoint manned by pro-Russian separatists. They say they were attacked by a convoy of ultra-nationalists called the Right Sector, whose power base is in the West. It's not clear what happened here, but this is exactly the kind of incident that can really blow this situation up into a civil war. U.S. officials say the vice president's in Kiev to boost economic and political assistance to authorities there. Speaking to its new pro-Western leaders, U.S. Vice President Joe Biden pledged to help Ukraine through the crisis, including an aid package of $50 million. We can help in stabilizing and strengthening Ukraine's economy by helping you withstand the unfair economic pressure being thrust upon you. We stand ready to do that, and I say the American people stand ready. The Ukrainian people deserve to uh, determine their future, uh, again, free from outside interference, and that's what the United States is trying to do. And uh, to the extent that uh, we here at CIA can work with our partners in Ukraine and other areas to, to give them the, uh, the information, the, the capabilities that they need in order to bring stability and security back to that country, we will do that.